G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision. My name's Liv and I've got a very special little squad here today. These are four of the five people that will be on the ground in Malmo this year for Team Aussie Vision. We'd like to welcome Hayley, Cooper and Sam here. And we're also going to have Kyle, our team member there as well. So keep an eye out for him. He's uh, definitely going to be about. Now this video is going to be looking at who do we think are potential jury and televote winners of Malmo 2024. Let's kick it off with Hayley. Who do you think could be taking out juries this year? Um, I This is really hard. I've been thinking about this all day, but I keep going back to Ukraine. Um, I they Look, they do well in the juries anyway, and they're very good at the, the genres being mixed together. And um, this song, just it's it's just so easy to listen to. There's still a lot of love for um, Ukraine, and I just think they can expect another really good jury score this year, if not taking out the jury vote. A hundred percent. And they're always just so good at staging. This is already such yes. an emotional entry with a lot yes. that they could do with it. And even with that slightly messy national final this year, they still managed to put together a really compelling entry. So I, I'm really keen to see what they can do. What do you think of that, Cooper? See, Ukraine as well, I think, is probably the comfortable, like if I was a betting man, I would put that on there for them to win the jury. I think it's a safe choice to do it. They've been doing well the past few years, like pretty much the past like 10 years. Their songs are just always jury beloved. Um, but if we were going to talk about maybe chucking, it wouldn't say a wild card, it's number one in the betting odds. Let's. Do, I want to talk about how Switzerland whereas Ukraine's a safe one to say they probably could win the jury. Switzerland, if they nail that, that's winning the jury with ease. But there's also still a risk with that song and the production and the like the vocal range and all the different techniques. It could go horribly wrong for them. Um, but, yeah, that's the one I wanted to bring up to be like, I think that could definitely do something with the number one spot. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a bit of a wild card entry, right? And like you said, it could definitely just be a complete train wreck or like the music video, but like in a bad way, or it could be a train wreck in a great way. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I have no idea. I'm kind of a bit reserved on it. I actually think perhaps it's been yeah. a little bit over egged. Um, and I, I'm actually worried that it might not even be in the top five. I'm going to have to see that stage show because honestly, yeah. I'm actually concerned, but I'm glad we have some optimism from Cooper. <laughs> yeah. And I Sam, agree. I'm quite concerned yeah. about the staging. How do you stage that song? I don't know, but... You know, I, I wouldn't know where to begin. No, but anyway, there's certainly a really compelling entry there, potentially. Mm. And Samuel, who are you thinking could take out the juries? Um, well, I'm thinking France, and I think for two reasons. So I feel like the juries, historically, they like someone with a big voice who delivers flawless vocals. They also like a radio-friendly song as well, traditionally as well. And I think France really fits in with that criteria. We've seen from his live performance in the Croatian national final, Dora, for example, that he can really sing and really belt out an amazing tune. And I feel like this song is quite radio friendly as well. It's doing relatively well on Spotify in terms of streams. It's always up there um, out of the Eurovision songs with the most sort of daily, weekly streams. Um, I also say that there's a bit of a precedence of like the jury's going for, you know, a a uh, male vocalist with, you know, a big vocal from a Western European country. We think of the UK in 2022, Switzerland 2021. So personally for me, I think France could continue this trend. Um, in response to sort of what Cooper and Haley have said, I think, yes, yeah, Switzerland also fits that criteria to a certain extent. I think actually live, I think they might do quite well with the juries, but we'll have to see a staging. I actually think Ukraine, in my opinion, actually don't think they might, they might do well with the juries, but I don't think they'll win. I think off the top of my head, Ukraine's actually never won the jury vote in the final. Someone can fact check that for me. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to stick with France and we'll see how it goes. So it's certainly some solid choices there. Um, I'm going to say a country that anyone who's known me at Aussie Vision for a while won't be surprised. I'm going to say this, but I think Italy is going to take out the juries. They've been on an upward trajectory with the juries and we actually have a female going this year with an absolutely stellar vocal and what I think is actually a really contemporary and also challenging song. I think it will stand out and uh, demand attention and I personally think that they can actually perhaps scrape their way to the top of the juries for once. 
Um, do we have any other little outsiders that we think could do quite well, anybody? Yeah, I um I sat down earlier and watched um all the jury results from last year and I was reminded of how well Ukraine did last year. Um and no one believed me. So I'm putting my neck out here. I'm not suggesting this is going to win at all, but I think Latvia is going to if they can get through to the grand final, I think Latvia might do really well with the jury for, you know, the good vocals, the good song, the good staging. I just think it's a sleeper. And I also really want to see Latvia in the final. So I think they could do in Estonia, maybe. See, I, if <laughs> if they get there, it could do well. They just need to get there is the first part of it. Yes. I want to talk about, shocker as well, Australia. People right now, they're underestimating them. But we've got, a, the jury loves Australia. We always get the point from them. Electric Fields are some of the best live performers I've ever seen. They are absolutely going to smash the jury and people aren't expecting that yet. Once the rehearsals start, it's going to become clearer and clearer. They're going to get pretty decently high if they qualify, but I'm pretty I'm pretty confident they will. Yeah, I agree, Cooper. That would, Yeah, absolutely. Yes, they're, I can't wait for... Unknown. Uh-huh. I can't wait for rehearsals to start and us to just slowly go up those odds like we do every single year. Um, yep. Any outsiders for you, Samuel? Well, off the top of my head, I say you can never rule out Sweden with the juries. And, you know, we've Marcus and Martinez have proved they're jury friendly in Melfest. Um, and, you know, Sweden, like Australia, always seems to do well with the juries. They won the jury last year. Um, yeah, so you can never rule out Sweden. 100%. Such a clean package. It's always going to demand at least a little bit of attention, if not more. All right. Well, let's move on to who do we think could take out this televote in the grand final and I would say this is an extremely competitive year for a televote there are so many entries that are just jumping up and down for attention and it'll be interesting to see if maybe some entries cancel each other out in that way and what manages to rise to the top uh Cooper who do you reckon is going to take out the televote uh I am I mean there's a bias I've lived in the Netherlands but the Netherlands I believe it's like deep in my heart they're gonna smash this televote it has been like in just an upward like climb for this exponentially. It started off, it kind of was quiet when it first came out. Not really much like, oh, it has gone insane. The I think the Dutch have been promoting it well. It's been amazing on streaming. They've gotten, we don't know what the staging or anything looks like, but they've gotten like the golden spot in their semi-final for Televote. They um I went to the Amsterdam Eurovision in concert. Even though it was in Amsterdam, the crowd went absolutely insane. This song was so good live. It is just a big party song, which, as we saw with Cardia last year, it gets the votes. So I'm going to say the Netherlands is going to take this out. I would bloody love that. Hayley, what are you thinking? Yeah, I've been thinking Netherlands too, but I, like you said, I'm concerned there may be some cancelling out. I think people are going um, for the Cardia effect this year. And there's a lot of lot of countries doing that as well. So it's kind of who's going to stand out the most. Um, I'm also thinking Croatia may be in a really strong position to take out the televote or close to because they've got that sort of support behind them. Um, they also might do all right maybe in the jury a little bit more than Netherlands as well, but I'm going off track. But I'm saying Netherlands. <laughs> and Samuel? Yeah, being a bit boring, I have to agree with what everyone has said. I think, you know, uh, like Netherlands, but, you know, my heart is with Croatia. I would like to add to Croatia that they have that sort of base, what I call the base Balkan block vote of like Slovenia and Serbia to always sort of rely on. Um, and I think, you know, again, his Dora performance proves that he has a great stage presence. And I think that it was a bit messy in the national final, but surely before Eurovision, they'll clean it up and make it much more slick and much more um, poppy. And in Dora, he crushed the telly vote. So there's a proven track yeah. record there. But um, like with Haley and Cooper have said, I think, yes, Netherlands and Croatia are right up there. Yeah. That's true, actually. And you can never underestimate um, a song that is very appealing to both East and West. There, you know, he's really killing it and in terms of the probably the strongest Eastern European song this year. Um, but it, sometimes it doesn't always appeal to the West. But I think this is something that has for everybody, you know, something that you can vote for. So I'm actually leaning towards Netherlands. But if I had to go for something else, shocker, I think Italy could also win the televote. Mm -hmm. but, 
<laughs> but maybe if I'm taking my glasses off, I actually think Ukraine could also win the televote. I could see a Jamala moment. This really does feel like the type of song that if it's done to the best of its ability and the message is right and the, you know, the position and the running order is good and all that kind of stuff, I could see this being the moment of the competition, but it all comes down to how that could come together. I personally do think that Ukraine has the legs to actually potentially win the televote um, here as well. Any other and I want to touch, Oh, yeah, what are you thinking? I want to yeah. also just touch on Italy as well. You are an Italian super fan. We all know that. But I also want to say I do think, because this year it's very interesting, there is no song that's going to get both like winning both the jury and the televote. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Um, and there's so many songs that are fighting for either or. So I think with Italy, where they probably may not win the jury and may not win the televote, they're going to get high in both. I think that is yeah. what's going to happen for Italy. And that's why I also think it could do something if everything else is so spread out this year and as chaotic as it's probably going to be, Italy could just sneak up in there and just take out one of those and then they could take out the whole thing. Yeah. Well... Maybe I'll put you all on the spot. We didn't talk about this before the meeting, but in saying that theme, I think Italy's going to win for that reason. That's exactly what I've been thinking. Hey, Lee, who do you think just quickly could potentially win Eurovision this year? Ukraine. Nice. Similar reason for me too. I think they're just going to be strong in both, and I don't think yeah. there's many songs this year that are strong in both. Samuel? Yeah. Yeah, well, for me, I think uh, Croatia. I think for similar reasons for Haley with Ukraine, but I think because I can see them, he's proven in Dora, he can do well in both jury and televote. So I'm going to put my neck out there and say Croatia, I think has a good shot of winning. Yeah. And Cooper? Well, then I'm just going to close it off and say the Netherlands again then. Ah! I just think that, I know, oh my God. it. I think it's going to do really well in the televote. And I think in the jury, I it's personally, I think more jury appealing than what, Cha 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 was last year and it still got fifth in the jury yeah. people keep saying like it's not going to get anything yes. it will get points from the jury right. it is like massive all over Europe at the moment it's going to pick up points so I'm I still think it's Netherlands 2025 well, what an exciting year. I don't think I've ever seen this much uh, difference in opinion and, and so many countries thrown around. Like last year, obviously, when we did this video, it was just like, okay, so Lorene's winning juries and Cardio's winning televote. <laughs> See you next year. Uh, so thanks for everyone for watching. Hopefully we're giving you some food for thought and uh, see you hopefully on the ground in Malmo. Can't wait to go to the contest. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye.